we just launched into a table at Mahjong time. We're going to be playing American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. Let's see if we can play something fun, maybe force a hand in this strategy theory session. We have one of each of the dragons. We have one of each of the sevens. So let's force like numbers. We're going to get rid of one of each suit. We're going to force a hand. We're going to focus on like numbers with sevens and dragons. So we're just going to gather. No matter what we get, we'll gather. That might even mean risky passes. We have no gaps and actually extra tiles. You know, I was just thinking we probably could have played a year hand 2019 with dragons, but we already passed year tiles. Let's stick with forcing a hand. We're forcing a hand. We'll pretend like there's a prize. Forcing a hand for like numbers with sevens, and there's a prize waiting for us. So we're going to stick with it. No keepers. Let's see if we can We'll keep going. Here we go. So two, let's see, east, nine, different suits. Actually, maybe, well, no matter how we slice these discards, it's going to be risky. Evens, year tiles. If I were not forcing a hand, I think a year hand would have been really good here. We got a keeper. If I could see the screen now. Okay, here we go. Seven. We got one keeper. One keeper so far. Let's keep the two dot and pass the eight. We have Joker bait with the two bam. And of course, we'll need to get rid of the flower. Like numbers with sevens. That's what we're playing. And we even have three tiles to pass. We got a dragon. How nice. We've got our pairs, maybe. We've got, whoops, there we go. We even have three tiles to pass. No gaps and options. We have five discards, six discards actually, right now. They want two, so we'll give them the east and the three. This hand is concealed, so we're going to have to draw well. We do not need all these dragons, so one of them will have to go, depending on how we draw. We have six discards, which is significant. We're an underdog for this hand. East wind. North wind. East wind. So we'll hold the joker bait as long as possible. See if we can hold on to it till the Eight end characters. of the middle game. So right about where, the, let's see, right about where the north is, I think. If we can hold on to the two bam until that point, we might be able to get a joker. Five dots. We'll just have to wait and see how things go at the table. It's very situational. Four and I'll hold the flower too because sometimes someone will make an exposure with flowers and maybe a joker or two. Three characters. But those get snagged pretty quickly. 
Nine characters. East Wind. No sevens are out yet. One red dragon is out at the moment. One character. Four characters. Oh, look at we have a pung now. Two dots. We'll stick with it though. Three bamboos. There was a hesitation on that three bam. One dot. Eight bamboos. One bamboo. So Six right now, characters. only one of our tiles has been discarded, but really it's benign wow. because we can use the other dragon. We need a pung of dragons, Six and characters. either one could be used. We've got a keeper now. Five characters. So we still don't have to make a choice on how to use those. Two characters. We need pear, pear, pung, pung, kong. Pear, pear, Line pung, dragon. pung, kong. So we have options. South wind. West wind. Six dots. A little bit of a hesitation on the six. I always like to watch the numbers around the tiles I'm keeping Two to characters. see how things Sound go wind. with discards, hesitations online. That's a tell. Four dots. When you see that yellow circle, that's a tell that Eight somebody has a, the tile in their hand and they could potentially take it. The longer the hesitation, Five dots the more chance that they're going to be using that tile Two characters. or they're kind of at a decision point of some kind there. Seven dots. There's a seven, the first seven. There was a slight hesitation for that. Six dots. There's a big hesitation, a bigger hesitation on the six, six dot. dots. Now Nine that's characters. that player discarded the six dot. They were probably contemplating it the first time the six dot went down, but now they've Two let it bamboos. go. All right, we'll discard that. That is, yep, so I don't think there's going to be interest in that two six bam. Characters. I was the only one with a two bam, and once Seven I said dots. no, that went away completely. So let's discard the two bam. Two bamboos. Let's hold the flower. There was no hesitation at all for that, so I don't think this joker bait's going to be any good. So we're going to instead hold the flower and the three and see if we can Four maybe get a joker characters. out of those. Two there, characters. There are, there's only one flower out and no three dots are out yet. Four dots. One dot. When you play online, you don't Eight have the characters. benefit of tells, physical tells, and even tile tells from your opponents. So you have to Eight rely dots. on delays in the game. Seven bamboos. There's another one of our tiles and a hesitation. So somebody else maybe Last has bam. seven bams. Seven bamboos. Oh, there it is. The player to my left. I wonder if they're playing consecutive run. All right. So maybe what we're going to need to do here is get a joker for the seven bam. Nine dots. And use the seven dot and seven crack One for dot. the pairs. We'll see. We still have options. Seven characters. Okay. We'll pass on that, of course, because we're playing concealed. We have Two to. Two bamboos. We're three away. We're heading into the end game now, and we have four discards. One of the guidelines that I've heard is Six that bamboos. if you have four discards or less at the end game, you should play to win. Seven dots. We have no jokers, though, and One our character. sevens are going down. Two seven bams are out, and three hmm. seven dots are out. So this seven dot is going to have to be the con. So we, we need jokers. 
to make hmm. this work. So we'll just continue to test the theory. Here we have a pung of flowers Plum with right a joker. Here. So we're going to snag that joker. Plum. And now we'll discard four dot. Four dots. So I think the, there are two red dragons out, so we're going to have to watch Six that. Characters. We're going to have to watch. Oops, I moved the wrong one. West wind. We might even need to use the seven bam and green seven dragon characters. as our pair. We'll pass on that. We're concealed. Okay, so now there's fresh joker bait here. Five dots. Let's hold the threes. There are still none out. I wonder if the three player dots. across for, from us is playing a one, three, five little odds hand. There was a slight hesitation on that three one dot. Bamboo. Nine dots. There's another hesitation. And now we have a pung of three dots. White dragon. There's still Nine a dots. red dragon out. We need to draw it or get ready. We need three jokers. South wind. We need three jokers to get ready. And none are White dragon. none are visible at the moment. Three characters. See if somebody oh, I was hoping someone would Kong that. One, three, three, five, and two suits. That means they might need that three dot. We'll get Six rid of this bamboos. three dot next. Since nobody took the other one that just went down two picks ago, Nine I, I think we're going to be three out of dots. luck on that. Yeah, nobody wanted it. So at this point, two we dots. have four picks each, and we have three discards. So one if we draw a joker every time, we can win. So, no joker. Let's get rid of the three. Three dots. The four bam is a fresh tile. The six dot is a good West discard. Man. So we have four more Five four more characters. picks. Three more picks. Six bamboos. Let's get rid of the three. Three The dots. north should be safe. There's... The odd thing is, is all the winds are out, one but bamboo. there's only one north out. That's kind of strange. I wonder Six if someone's bamboos. trying to play a quint, maybe, with Five north's. Characters. So let's discard the six dot. Six dots. Hold the flower and the north. We have two more picks. That's our tile that we need, so our hand is no longer viable. It's no longer viable. And we have one more Eight pick, dots. so we'll discard the joker for defense. One dot. Let's see, four dot. We'll discard that, just in case we have another turn. Four dots. There were three out. So let's say, oh, somebody won. Wow. That was a surprise. All right, so let's look and see what everybody had here. So we have 8989, eight, nine, consecutive runs, second hand from the bottom. Very nicely done. Over here, they were playing one, three, three, five, cracks, and bams. They were ready to, oh, they needed a joker for the three. I threw the three a while ago, and they weren't ready for it. They needed to Kong the five, so they were two away from ready on that. And then this player was playing a quint, and that north would have given them that one quint. They were trying to play the quint, but they have a pung out, so I think that might have been a mistake because you need four flowers for that. So they might have mistakenly hit the wrong button. The next time you play at Mahjong time, watch for that yellow graphic under a discarded tile. That is a tell. It means that someone is thinking about that particular tile. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.